I found that I've, I found my identity when I realized that I was a Muslim and what my duties and roles and, and rights were as a Muslim. Was before that I really didn't know what I was. I, mean, I knew I was a Muslim, but I, I also thought I was a British person. I, you know, I thought many things. I didn't really know um, what my identity was. But it's through Islam that I found my identity, and I think this is true of quite a lot of other Muslims of, of my generation. And we found that we're able to, we, we know our purpose in life now uh, through Islam. I used to say, how did God get there? I was told not to ask that question. You know, I got told off and my dad, he really threw a fit because I asked him, how did God get there if he hasn't got a mother and father? And like, it was a question that I still can't figure out, you know, how did God get there? And Islam couldn't answer that for me. And the thing about religion, as opposed to sort of just your father or your uncle putting pressure on you, is that religion controls the minds as well. What's frightening about the rise of fundamentalism is that uh, the community, and especially the male community leaders, have felt that they can become more vocal. Can we have a, a, rusty, a pro rusty poster? Because yes. I think our time... Women from the Brent Refuge were among a group who gathered in Parliament Square to protest against the Orthodox Muslim demonstration on May 27th. A number of neo-Nazis were also expected that day. I mean, I'm not too keen about being hemmed in by the police with a group of fascists in here All right, well. then when we, either that will go on that side of the road. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe. Because if they come up there... But to remember, more, it's to what go around they're going to go that way around, surely. Hold on, oh, no, they're going that way around, aren't they? They're going to be writing posters when yeah. they're gone. So if we go <laughs> over there... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. See, then also, I mean, what would we do if this group tried to attack the march just because they're black people? We'd be fighting with these. <laughs> oh, that's the banners, that's the banners. Uh, uh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, don't worry, you Everybody see us. Okay, the march is almost so we better get ready. Women Against Fundamentalism was formed by women from many different communities and religious backgrounds. Can we leave our belongings here? They fear that the spread of rigid forms of religious identity will wipe out the secular traditions for which they have fought. They demonstrated to defend Salman Rushdie as part of their own right to dissent from religious control. Struggle, not submission! Women's tradition! Struggle, not submission! Yes, a lot of women are religious in our refuge, but they have decided how they wish to worship. They don't want to be dictated to about what their religion stands for, what their religion means for them. And they have rejected what used to happen to them in the family and in the community, where they were told how to, how to worship, how to behave, how to conform to their religion. Abhi warta ye aise mazhab, apne tarikhe se mazhab apna karegi hain. Ibadat apni tarikhe se karegi. Jo khuda ne hukam rakhe, panch vakat ki namaz faraz, roza faraz, zakat, jo bhi hai, o faraz. Wo orat kabul karegi, lekin orat abhi musulman orat koi murat ki gulami ni kabul karegi. Mazhab kis ko piyara ni hota? Asian refuges were created as exclusive spaces where women could rebuild their lives free from both violence and racism. Discussion is often critical, but many women remake their traditions in an intensely personal vision of religion.
इस्लाम बहुत वसी मजहब है लेकिन हमारे मर्दों ने ना इसको गलत रंग में रंग लिया है कि ये नहीं औरत कर सकती वो नहीं कर सकती औरत को घर में बैठा सकते हैं उस जो कुछ मर्द के वो ऊंची आवाज में बात नहीं कर सकती मर्द का हुक्म मानना चाहिए उसकी इजाजत वह कहीं आ नहीं सकती जा नहीं सकती इस्लाम व्यूज मैन एंड वुमेन एज बींग it is by god's design that the male has been um dis- uh, created to fulfill um a certain economic uh, role uh, he it is on him that the burden of, of uh, looking after the family should lie and the woman has been created uh, with with the role of of child bearing and child rearing that that's fundamental um and, and all of nature dis- displays this you know nature has been created in pairs The Islamia School's trust is run by Yusuf Islam, formerly the singer Cat Stevens. His mission is to spread Islam by returning to the principles of the Quran. The trust want to set up more schools especially for girls and have attracted some young disciples. Oppression evident in many Muslim societies is or arises um out of ignorance. Um many Muslims just don't know about their religion um and don't uh know about the rights given to women and it is our duty those of us who feel we have some knowledge on this to um educate others the Quran as you know was revealed in Arabic uh and there are quite a few problems with translating and many of the translations that people normally use do not give a fair representation of the meaning you know i'm willing to discuss any any you know verse of the quran and uh, try and understand you know what it what it says but i don't accept that it's um in any way unfair on women because i mean then then we'd have to say that god is unfair and that's just not tenable like when i left home it's like god is supposed to help you when you turn to him and i used to pray um about three times you supposed to read five times a day but i used to read about three or four times a day i think and I prayed so so many times you know God help me God didn't and like in the end when I left home I realized that I had to help myself and religion didn't help me and that's when I said what is religion about if it's to help you why didn't it help me why did I have to help myself and I realized that and so so now I'm thinking about religion and what is it all about Sajida grew up in Bradford in a repressive Muslim family. She ran away at 16 to avoid an arranged marriage. After resisting constant pressure to return to her family, she ended up being fostered by Rita. Because I work and I'm single, it's uh, I had to weigh up quite carefully about what I was doing and whether it would be right on Sajida um in terms of her needs and I felt really the space and the time is what she needed and that I could hopefully provide that. Um but it was really going in with the closed eyes i think yeah i found that uh, rather than carrying on as i had been and having um a friend daughter isn't it we used to call, we used to call you a friend daughter and she used to call me her friend mother rather than having that as well as carrying on i really think it revolutionized my whole life um it changed quite radically the way that i lived and how i thought about a lot of things when i met read those she was she was um i can't remember how I ex- yeah she was so um how can i describe different so uh, well different isn't the word but yeah different from what i'd seen in asian women she was really outgoing well, was very confident and quite assertive i found her and it wasn't frightening but it was different and I liked it and she was very um, physical like she hugged me a proper hug you know not just a pat on the shoulder but a hug and it it really meant a lot to me Sajida discovered new people and new worlds in her own hometown through Rita Red Ladder a northern theatre company prepared to stage a play in a Bradford community center It's about domestic violence and freedom of choice. Issues around which Asian women from different religious backgrounds have campaigned together for many years. Now 
Now some women in Bradford can come together to try and create a new sense of community amid conflicting influences. Women like Rita and Sajida can discuss whether even this search for identity is a straitjacket rather than a space to grow. Where are you going? To the loo. Have you got your clothes on? It's cold. You're going somewhere? Where? You wait, Mother Dad. You are. It's true what they said. You are. You're going to meet someone. Sookie, please. Don't meet... tell them. Don't tell them. Sookie, you are <gasps> You know, Barbie and you slad and kind perfect. You all do. Good old Jazz always does what she's told. Good at homework. Good at housework. You don't know. You don't know what it's like. I just wanted someone to talk to. Whereas, like in Parveen's case, because her parents didn't trust her at all, she didn't, she just thought... Some young women gain their confidence through submitting to religious strictures, such as wearing hijab, modest Islamic dress which they feel protects their integrity as women. The Western way of life for women, anyway, is one that's um, center, centered around women being um, a sex object, an object of sexual desire you just have to look on the television um the uh, there's an advert for a chocolate bar with a woman draped over seductively draped over a settee eating a chocolate bar they have no relation to each to each other but uh, the woman is used to sell the product in islamic life that wouldn't be a woman is supposed to be um looked up to and treated as a press precious object, a precious gem, um, something, or a person that you don't, uh, whose reputation you don't blemish. And say to the believing women that they cast down their eyes and guard their private parts and reveal not their adornment such as is outward and let them cast their veils over their bosoms. In effect, what you are saying is, that yes, you are encroaching in an area which you, where you do not belong. Yes, you are encroaching in a public sphere where you ought not to be. And in addition to that, you're saying, yes, I am a sexual object. Thus, I need to cover myself up. And if I do do that, then I am safe from the male harassment, from the male gaze, etc. Now, we as women don't feel that we would fight on that front. We would not go forward and say, yes, we are sexual objects and we have to apologize for that. And we have to suffer for that and cover ourselves up for that. Lekin marad ye nahi sochta ki uske paas bhi dil hai, uske yahan bhi khwahish hain. Akeli marad kya to nahi, aurat ki bhi koi khwahish hoti hai ki itni kimti zindagi aurat kyun dab ke mar jaye aur apni tamanna na puri kare. इस्लाम क्या कहता है आज इतना टाइम हुआ मैं तलाक के लिए आज 11 साल से दुखी हो रही हूँ हर एक मौलवी के पास जाती कि ये आदमी से मेरा छुटकारा दिला मुझे इससे तलाक चाहिए मौलवी बोलते हैं नहीं हम समझौता कराएंगे समझौता कैसे कराओगे जो इंसान में मेरा दिल नहीं है उससे मेरा समझौता कैसे होगा जो इंसान से मुझे प्यार नहीं है मैं उसके साथ कैसे रहूंगी बोलते नहीं ये मजहब नहीं कहता मजहब बोलता इससे समझौता तेरा कराऊ तुम्हारे मर्द के साथ तुम्हारी बने बस Women from refuges translated their despair into political action when they joined campaigns against